The Qingming Festival, also known as Two Sleeping Day, is one of the four traditional festivals in China. The other three are Chinese New Year, Dragon Ball Festival, and Middle Autumn Festival. It falls on either April 4th, 5th, or 6th each year. Chinese usually have a three-day holiday. At the very beginning, Qingming was not a festival by the face of the 24 solar turns. The temperature rises after Qingming. It's the right time for spring plowing and showing. Later, the day becomes more of a festival for Chinese people to commemorate their ancestors. Chu Sleeping Day began around the Zhou Dynasty, and it has a history of over 2,500 years. It originated from astral beliefs and spring rituals in ancient times. The development of it has incorporated two other traditional festivals. The first is the Shangsi Festival. Which falls on the third day of the third lunar month, which is close to the Qingming Festival. The main customs of Shangsi Festival was spring outing, bathing in the river to get rid of bad luck and illness. The second is the Kofu Festival, which is one or two days before the Qingming Festival. People were not allowed to use fire and only add kofu. It's also time for people to worship their ancestors, according to the Book of the Later Han. The initial Kofu festival has lasted for nearly a month of minimum to 105 days of maximum. It's really a long time that's not good for people's health and production. In the Tang Dynasty, Kofu festival began only three days. Chun sweeping became popular at that time. Meanwhile, people usually went on a spring outing after Chun sweeping. Later, there were more and more activities such as kite flying, swing, and Cu Ju playing. The ancient Chinese football in the Song and the Yuan dynasties, the Qingming Festival took the place of the Kofu Festival, and the Shangsi Festival disappeared in northern China. The main customs of the Qingming Festival are chu sweeping and spring outing. In 2008, Qingming Festival officially became a public holiday with one day off. Since 2009, Chinese people have had a three-day Qingming Festival holiday. Including one-day public holiday and two weekend make-up days. There is a story about the arranging of the Qingming Festival and the Kofu Festival, which commemorate Jie Zitui, a loyal man in the spring and autumn period. Jie Zitui cut a piece of meat from his side to save his lord Duke Wen of Jing during their exile, but didn't want to get any reward like others. In honor of Jie Zitui. The Duke decreed the day of his death as the Kofu Festival, and one day later as the Qingming Festival. How do Chinese celebrate the Qingming Festival? The most important custom is tomb sweeping. People commemorate and honor the dead by cleaning graves, burning incense and joss paper, offering food, wine, and others. However, the custom has been greatly simplified, especially in cities. Some people only offer flowers to their loved ones. While some who can now visit tombs do tomb sweeping online, especially during the pandemic. Qingming is a good time for spring outing to enjoy the beautiful natural views as the weather warms up and everything comes to life. Flying kites is also a popular activity during the Qingming festival, especially for the kids. There are some other activities like planting trees and sticking willow branches. What you eat at the Qingming festival? People in South China usually eat Qingtuan, which is a sweet green glutinous rice ball. It's a seasonal snack made from a mixture of glutinous rice flour and a Chinese mugwort or barley glass, then stuffed with red bean paste. In North China, people eat cold food like eggs and cold pancakes. Do you have a similar festival in your culture? Let me know in the comments below. We will make more videos about Chinese culture, festivals, and food. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to know more. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.